What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here again at Think Computers and what we're going to show you is Asus's AI Suite 2 which is their companion software that comes bundled with I'm pretty sure almost all of their motherboards and instead of going over each thing you know in a review we decided to make a video so it's just easier for you guys to watch and you can really see what this software can do so when you bring up the AI2 AI suite 2 here it's going to be in this little bar here and this is going to have all of you know, all of the programs that come with it all of the features so there's this big auto tuning thing so if you click that it's going to open up Turbo V Evo which is your overclocking uh, companion software and the auto tuning is really cool so if you don't know how to overclock or you're really not sure you know what to do this is a simple way to overclock your system they have two settings fast and extreme and if you click either one of these they're gonna overclock instantly overclock your CPU um, to whatever setting it all depends obviously on your CPU and over here is a nice little um, sensor here that you can see you know your CPU usage and the frequency that it's running and you can check out all the cores and everything like that now say you don't want to do this and you want to overclock manually there's this manual mode up here so if we click into there you can see that you can overclock just as if you were in the BIOS but you can do this all through Windows and you can you know change your frequency and then your voltages for a lot of stuff there's a lot of voltages down here that you can change I can scroll through them here so you guys can see. I mean, there are a ton of different voltages, all for overclocking, that you can easily change. Also, when you're doing overclocking, if you don't really have a high-end CPU, there is a CPU strap, which is uh, specific to X79 boards and processors. And, you know, obviously you can move that up or down however you like it to achieve a better overclock. Now, the next tool, so we go over here in tools. We were just in Turbo V Evo. We're going to go to the Digi Plus Power Control. And this is settings for power delivery for both your CPU and your DRAM. And if you go into each one of these, you can see all of the different settings that you can change. You know, you can change your load line cal calibration, um, your CPU current capability. There's a lot of stuff in here you can change all to do with power. And they really go over and it kind of shows you, you know, if you don't know that much about power delivery, it kind of shows you what they do. And it's, it's really in depth here. I really like it. And not a lot of motherboards offer this capability. If you go back out here, we can go back into the DRAM and I can show you those settings as well. There's a lot here that you can really go over and really change when it comes to power delivery to your components. Getting back out of there, we can go to our next tool, which is the EPU, which is our energy savings here. And there are three different modes, auto, high performance, and max power save. And there's like this little weird little graph here that will kind of show you what's going to get the most priority, whether it's reliability, performance, tranquility, convenience, or energy saved. You know, it will tell you here and you can set that up. But also, it's going to show you your reduced CO2 emission, which is pretty cool. And it's also going to show you your current CPU power, which ours just dropped here because we're not really using it. But it's going to show you your current CPU power, which is kind of cool thing. And not a lot of motherboards really show that. Next up is the fan expert which is a really really cool piece of software so you can set your fans in the case to whatever you want so um, we have our CPU fan here and it's set on turbo there's a bunch of different settings and you can actually make your own too so I can you know change this to go higher or whatever I want I think if I put this on user yeah see I can change this to however I want and that's how the fans gonna react when it gets to a certain temperature it's a really cool thing um, again and you can set all of your different fans so your CPU fan and then the four chassis fans you can all set so maybe you want one to really be really really fast say like it's the CPU fan you want to go at 100 percent and but your chassis fans you don't want them to really spin up unless you know it gets really really hot it's it's very very cool um, again, not a lot of motherboard manufacturers offer this type of capability. Our next tool is the Probe 2. And what that is, is that's going to show you your current um, sensor readings for everything. And what you can also do is set a, th set a threshold. So if our V-Core goes over a certain percent or a certain um, voltage, you know, it's going to give us an alert. Same thing here with you can do temperature, fan speed, you can see everything down there. Your preferences on the actual Probe 2 software and of course your alert log. So you can see all the different alerts that may have popped up for it. But um, it's very cool. It's, it's good to set thresholds because you don't want, say, you know, my CPU fan, if it goes under 600 RPM, obviously 
I'm going to be worried. Maybe you don't know. Maybe one of your fans inside your case is going to die or something like that, and you just don't know. It's good to have these set up so maybe it does die or it's just not spinning up that fast or something like that you would know. Same thing with your temperature. I mean, you know, if our CPU gets over 80 degrees Celsius, we definitely want to know. Uh, we don't want it getting much hotter than that. So this will give you an alert when that happens. Our next tool is our sensor recorder, and this is really cool. So this is going to be rec this is going to record uh, your sensors for your voltage, temperature, fans, and fan speed, and it comes it makes it in this little graph right here. And the thing that's really cool about this, if you go to your history record here, you can record say say I want to see how my system is doing throughout the day, maybe temperature wise or voltage or fan speed. What you can do is say I want to record for, you know, you can do up to 24 hours for a whole day. So if you want to see how your system's performing for an entire day, it will record for the entire day. And then it will have this nice little graph here that will, you know, have all of your either voltages, temperatures, or fan speed. Very, very cool. Moving on, we have our BT Go, which is... Um, part of the built-in Bluetooth on this motherboard. So what this does is it's going to allow you to pair your devices with the actual motherboard um, and of course Windows. And obviously I don't have any Bluetooth devices here so I can't really uh, you know go into the software that much but you can do stuff like you know for your camera you can set up you know shoot and send and you can set up file transfers and folder syncs and you can set up you know music player and um, you know a remote as well but you I don't as I said I don't have Bluetooth any Bluetooth devices here so I can't really go into this that much our next thing is our USB 3.0 boost and I don't have any USB 3.0 devices set up what this does which we're actually going to test so if you uh, go back to our review of the P9 X79 Pro motherboard you are going to see that what this does is this is going to speed up your USB 3.0 capability um, and it actually goes over here it tells you what it actually does um, there's two different modes UASP and turbo which we're actually going to go over so you you don't need to know anything about it right now but it does speed up your USB 3.0 capability our next tool which is a really really great tool which again we don't have set up yet is the ASUS SSD caching and what this is going to do is it's going to turn your main drive into a cache drive using a solid state um, this is much like Intel's technology, except for with this, um, all you do is connect it, connect any size solid state drive to what it says here. It says your SATA ports, SATA 6G E1 and SATA 6G E2, and it's going to turn it into a cache drive. So say you're using, you know, an older um, normal hard drive, a platter hard drive, and you want to get the same speeds as an SSD, obviously, um, as you have seen, the uh, SSD caching really, you know, pairs the two together and makes them as just as fast as a normal SSD. With this, like I said, you just plug it, plug those two in, hit caching now, and you're good to go. It's going to start caching everything, and your system's going to run a lot faster. It's going to boot faster. Programs are going to load faster. And again, this is not you're not limited as with the Intel technology to say a 64 gig. Um, SSD. Any size you want, you can just connect it and you're good to go. And I believe that's it for our tools, yes. So now we can go to monitor. Um, you can take out our sensors here and they're just over here. So you can see all of our sensors, what everything is running at, um, you know, CPU temperature, all of our voltages, motherboard temperature, CPU fan speed, CPU, and op CPU fan optional speed, and our chassis fan and you can also do, uh, you can check out your CPU frequency. So you can see, you know, your usage and you can check out all the cores, how everything is running. Update um, is pretty cool. This is going to take a little second to load. This, For some reason in this software, this takes a little bit to load. But um, what it does is it actually is for to update your BIOS. And you can either download a BIOS file and update it. Um, so you can see here, so you can use, you can save your BIOS to a file, you can update your BIOS from a file, you can download the BIOS from the internet, or you can update the BIOS for the internet. So it's, it's very easy to use. I actually use it to update this BIOS to uh, this version, version 11.04. You also can do the Asus My Logo, which again, this takes a second to load, I'm not sure why. Um, which means you can change the logo when your PC starts up. Uh, usually it's like an Asus logo or something like that, but you can actually change it in here. Um, 
there we go. So it's change the BIOS boot logo of my motherboard, change the boot logo of downloaded BIOS file and update the BIOS, or change the boot logo of a downloaded BIOS file but do not update the BIOS. So that's pretty cool. Next up, we have our system information. Again, that takes a second to load here. And it just gives us all of our information on our motherboard CPU and SPD. And I believe that is it. Oh, there are settings here. So you can set, which another thing that's cool about the AI suite is say you don't use EPU, you're never going to use it. You can just unclick this and hit apply and it will just take it out. Or say you're never going to use the fan expert or the digi power control. You can just, you know, take these out and they're never going to show up in here again. So you don't have this big list of tools here. Let me go ahead. So you don't have this big list here anymore. Maybe you only have two things in here. Just makes it easier and nicer. But I mean, that basically is it for the AI Suite 2. Um, this is running on the Asus P9X79 Pro motherboard, but the AI Suite is pretty much the same through all motherboards. Maybe some other features like obvious, obviously, if your motherboard doesn't support Bluetooth, you're not going to have the, you know, the BT Suite or something like that that but it's pretty much the same through it's very in-depth and it's one I, I think out of all the software that comes with motherboards from other companies that we've checked out this is the most in-depth software easiest to use and it actually has things that are going to help you out such as the ssd caching and you know the the sensor recorder and the fan expert things that users actually want so Again, this is Bob Busker for Think Computers. Check back on on thinkcomputers.org for a full written review of this motherboard. And if you have any questions about the AI Suite 2, make sure you leave it below in the comments. Catch you guys later.